professionals. So if your captioning plugin is having this issue where you're getting subtitle, subtitle, subtitle instead of the words you're actually speaking, well, here's the fix to get around it. So first things first, how do you go about downloading Snap Captions and getting the update? And we have a pretty simple way of doing this now. So if you were to just Google Snap Captions to customer portal, and it'll take you to this webpage we have here, which can show you how to get the latest update, how to update them. You can check out the change logs and all sorts of other little things there. So once you've installed the latest version of Snap Captions and restarted DaVinci Resolve, we'll come to this page here. And most of the plugin works exactly the same. So we can go about selecting which template we want to use and then coming into the transcription page, this is where things get a little different. The first thing we wanna do is hit transcribe audio. And so once that's done, we'll have a subtitle track that looks like this. Now, the main issue that's coming in version 20.2 is that if we use this subtitle track specifically to create our phrases, where instead of seeing the actual words we want spelled out, it's just coming up as subtitle. And so specifically what's going wrong there is in the latest update, Resolve accidentally broke a function that allowed us to read the words on a subtitle track and on the subtitle clips. So here's what's different now. Once you've transcribed your audio and we've got the subtitle track, instead of hitting create phrases, we're going to right click on the subtitle track go export subtitle. So I might just call this my SRT file and hit save. And so what we've done here is created an SRT file. So all the data in here is now stored in here. And if we just left click and drag this into our subtitle selector, you'll see it's now loaded this SRT file up. And this is going to override anything we've got in the drop down here. So when we go to hit create phrases, voila, everything's working as expected. No more subtitle, subtitle, subtitle. And if we go through this and just go and create our captions. Hey professionals. Yeah. Hello. Everything here is working fully as expected. I know looking at this workflow, it's not as ideal as the previous one. And I 100% agree. And don't worry, we're looking at everything we can do to bring back the old workflow. And this might be as simple as waiting for the next DaVinci Resolve update to fix this broken function. Maybe it means we might have to get a bit more creative in our own backend. And then just as a quick note to my community, I know some of you have been wondering what's happening with Snap Captions updates and things like this. And in all honesty, I don't like posting a lot of these videos on YouTube. I try to keep things more evergreen and relevant on my channel in terms of small updates and little fixes we're doing for snap captions. We do post quite regularly on my Discord. We do announcements when there's any sort of patch update, which helps keep you informed with where our plugins are at. So if you wanna keep up to date with the latest news around snap captions, check out our Discord, link in the description. And until next time, happy auto editing, everyone.